Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Nick, and in today's video, we are looking at the Shopify checkout extensions. Now, as of the recording of this in late 2024, uh, we have to enable a developer preview. So we're gonna create a dev store. We're gonna have uh, some sample products in there. We're gonna make just like a simple widget, but I hope that this is gonna give you a good foundation of how to get started with the checkout extensions. Um, it's a little bit different than the regular theme extensions that I've built previously. So I hope you learned something. If you do, make sure you like, subscribe, and make sure you let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see me build. Um, it's been really fun getting requests from some of you guys. So I love it. All right, let's dive in. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new development store because I learned this the hard way by developing the extension and then trying to add it to a previous development store I already had, and it didn't go so well. I couldn't add it to the customizer, and I figured out it's because I didn't have the developer preview, which we still need at this time. So I'm gonna go to the partner stop, um, partners dashboard, and then I'm gonna create a new store. I'm gonna create a store to test and build. I'm not actually gonna save this, so I'm just gonna give it a name. So name yours, whatever you'd like. Now this is the most important part, so we wanna make sure that we select this developer preview, and then we do this drop down and hit checkout and customer accounts extensibility. So after we select this, I would recommend having some test data, and then you can just go ahead and click create development store. So now we have a, a theme created, or rather a store created, that we can see this checkout. So now let's actually generate the app we're going to create. So what we're gonna do is come over to our terminal, and, and we're gonna run this command, npm init at Shopify app, oops, at latest. All right, and then we have to follow this process to make sure that we are authenticated, so make sure you do that. Okay, and then we can just answer some questions. I'm gonna create it as a new app. I'm gonna give it checkout extension app. You can name yours whatever you'd like. And then I'm going to, in this case, I'm just gonna build an extension only app. Awesome, so now it's created. So what we can do is we can CD into the app we just created, and then we need to actually generate the extension. So we're gonna run Shopify app generate extension. And then we give this, we get this whole list, and we're gonna come down to checkout UI. We're gonna hit enter. I'm gonna call it checkout UI, sure. I want JavaScript React. And now it's going to generate this extension for us. Sweet, so now what we can do is we can open it in our code editor and take a quick look and you can see we have this extensions folder, checkout UI, source, checkout JSX. So this is the file that we're actually going to be changing. Um, and you'll notice if you've seen any of my other videos on theme extensions, this is a different look, this is JSX. This isn't uh, you know the block folder with the liquid files that I was kind of used to doing mostly um, theme extensions. So that's one thing to note. Um, and then there's like a few other details that we're gonna go over throughout this video to hopefully understand better the architecture of the checkout extensions. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually make sure that this app gets installed on our test store. So I'm just wanted to open up so we could look at the code real quick, but I'm gonna go back here and then I am going to run Shopify app dev. So this is gonna start our server. And then this is very important, make sure that you select the test store that you just created because if you don't select the right store, um, you're gonna to have to reinstall it on the store with the development uh, checkout preview. So now once we get to this part, we can just hit P and what I'm gonna do is come over to the browser, move this over, cool. All right, so we should get this starter screen and we're just gonna click on install your app. So you're gonna make sure right here in the corner you're in the right store. Okay, cool. And voila, now it is successfully installed in our store and we can start editing some code. Okay, so once I come back to the code here, I'm gonna not change it too dramatically, but I am going to first, oops, get rid of all of this. 
And then I'm going to change the JSX. We can remove all this. Okay, cool. Okay, so it's gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna return a, a banner. And you're like, what the heck is a banner? Well, I'll show you here in just a moment. And I'm gonna give it a status of warning. I'm gonna give it a title. Oops. Snowboards do not ship to California because it's California. Okay, and then I'm gonna do that. You're probably like, what the heck is this? All right, let's get some context here. So the thing about checkout extensions, which I found very odd, is that you have to use only components from this Shopify uh, module. Meaning if I tried to put in like a regular P tag, it throws an error and it won't let us, it won't work, let us do that, um, which is kind of interesting. So I know Shopify previously, you know, this checkout extension thing is, it's kind of new, it's a new way of going forward, but they've always been very protective over the checkout process. So I'm not really surprised, I guess, that they have kind of strict uh, rules on this. So like, what is this? Well, if I come back to the browser here, I will show you a tab. And this is on the Shopify documentation. And if we look at the components here in the doc uh, checkout UI extensions, this is all the components that we can use. So this is this is kind of all of your widgets and stuff are the you know the building blocks right here. So we're actually using this banner that we just put in. And you can see um, some documentation here, like what we can do. So we're gonna use uh, this banner, which we just added. And then if we go back to our code, we also need to clean this up a bit. And uh, I should have mentioned all this code is on the in the description. There's a link to the GitHub repo or a commit where this is. So you can just copy and paste it. You don't have to add it like this manually. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some logic here. So I guess if we save this right now, and if our server's still running, then we should be able to come to our, our store here. And then I'm gonna come down, and this is very uh, different from like your regular theme customizations. When you're customizing your checkout, you have to go to settings, and then you have to go to checkout. And then this section right here, configuration, we're gonna hit customize. And then here is kind of like the navigation for our checkout. It's pretty similar to the normal theme editor, I guess, but you can add these blocks to um, any of these pages here, as long as you scope them correctly. So here on the regular checkout page, if we click add app block, we see this checkout UI. So boom, it's working. That's our widget we just created. It is showing successfully. Um, now we're just gonna add a couple more customizations, but first I wanna talk about something in the code here, this right here. So export default React extension, blah, blah, blah. So there is this concept in the checkout extensions of target. And what that means is that there are two targets that we can add to our checkout apps. So what that means is that we can either have a static target or we can have a block target. So what we currently have implemented right here, you can see purchase.checkout.block.render. This is the target for a block target. And all that means is you can place the extension in any of the supported placements on the page. So that's what we want, right? Because if I go back to our thing here, you can see that I can um, drag this around. I can come down to the order summary and add it there. I like this. I like the flexibility to be able to add it wherever I want. However, if you were only adding something, say for the summary, you can actually choose static target and then you would only add it to that particular section. So you can see here's what we have, right? Gives us everything. Here's one for the thank you page, whatever. But I just wanted to let you know about this target situation because it is important and it is uh, required so that you can actually add it in the theme editor. 
The other thing you need to be aware of is this uh, Shopify extension TOML file because there's some configurations in here that's very important. So like this name, this is what actually shows in the in the theme editor, like what the name is. You'll notice like when I went and added it, it was called checkout UI like that. And that's because I did a lame name. But uh, this part is really important here. So you'll notice we have this same thing right here, this target, which is what we're targeting. And it's the same thing that's in here. And then... Um, we have this module and it's a link, oh, excuse me, a ref to this checkout file. So this is extremely important. If this isn't set up, it's not going to work either. Okay, cool. So now we're just gonna add one more quick customization to our uh, code here. And this is just a really simple way to show you guys like how you can customize this further. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to use um, the use extension, it's called use extension API. Uh, this is from the React, Shopify React package. And then what this does is it gives me access to the cart. So you see it's just like a regular um, Shopify hook. Cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Okay, so all this is doing is it is checking if there's a snowboard in the cart. And if so, then we're going to show that notice because if they're not going to order us a snowboard, then why would we show that notice, right? So if I save this and go back, and I'm going to actually remove that one, and I'm going to move this back up. I'm going to click Save, so this should be added to the theme. And then you can come right here to this three-dot menu, hit View. And then we are able to see it right here. So that looks correct. And then if I go and voila, so we can see that it's successfully working here just like we want. And uh, you can test it by adding a product that's not a snowboard, but this is just test data. So I don't have a product that's not a snowboard, I don't think right now. So we have successfully implemented a checkout extension. I hope this has been helpful. Again, like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you want to see built next. And uh, cheers. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks, guys.